guys and welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time welcome to my channel today I'm going to be doing a life update I have not updated you guys on my life in for ever like literally forever so I just thought that it'd be a really good idea to kind of keep you guys in the loop and let you guys know what's going on with my life so as you know I did graduate in December of 2016 yeah 2016 it feels like forever but I just graduated from college with a degree in psychology and a minor in communication studies um, yeah I loved my major just to say the least about it I loved it and it was just great well moving forward I graduated and I got a job at a children's safe harbor for abused kids so um, now I'm kind of in this area where I'm getting experience I'm working with professionals in this field and I'm just learning the real deal in the real world about how all this works and I have had to start adulting like <sighs> I had to start adulting and I'll get to that in a little bit but anyway so I got a job praise God because y'all know it's hard for newly grads to get a good paying job and a good job that just you know allow them to earn a living in the meantime so I got a good paying job and um, yeah I just think that it was kind of one of those things where you're adjusting to this new full-time working schedule which is really hard for someone like me I'm a move around person like I'm not a nine to seven eight to five type of woman for some reason I really do enjoy getting out there moving around seeing things being active like I just want to move I just want to move you know that's the energizer bunny I just want to move around but the job was mostly like you know sit down do stats do data work do evaluation do measures some child watch which is cool um, but it was definitely one of those things where it's kind of like you're it's, it's, it's an office job you know it's a sit down and do your work kind of thing and yeah go home after that and whatever so um yeah my job was great um, I actually am quitting my job um, of course I have to quit to go to grad school they're in two different locations it's about three hours apart two and a half to three hours apart so obviously I can't work there and be in grad school so um, I will be quitting my job um, and just kind of a little bit about my job and my experiences with like the adult world and with the corporate world it would just be more so like learning how to handle conflict between co-workers you know if I had a conflict with somebody I wouldn't just be like hey pop off on them type stuff I had to learn the professional way of things talk to your supervisor you know um, talk to someone that'll help this process go about more smoothly not taking it into my hands and acting based off of how I feel so it really taught me about a lot about like emotions like I can't just act based off of emotions it taught me that I have responsibilities like I have responsibilities I can't just not not do them because I don't feel like it so it really showed me how little feelings matter in the real world and how little what you want to do takes weight in your life you know it's always about your priorities what comes first what needs to happen and I think that this has really disciplined me because I feel like literally it has allowed me to grow in the area of working for such long hours and just having that endurance and then having that understanding of how nonprofits and organizations and the corporate world works how things go about and just um, just the system in general so I'm so thankful for that opportunity I'm blessed to have even gotten that job literally the youngest person there and it was just one of those things where it's like wow okay like I'm the newbie here <laughs> I'm the newbie you know but um, I'm thankful I am thankful so of course I'll be quitting my job and I will be going to grad school so if you do not know I did announce um, my getting into Baylor in I want to say March I posted it on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and I made a blog post about it and the feedback was amazing you guys are so supportive it just felt great being supported by a lot of people being encouraged me being able to inspire other people with my failures and just basically my story in general so I thank you guys so much for that um, if you haven't seen my blog post I will link it in the description bar below so you can check it out and let me know what you think and yeah just a little bit about that um, so I will be going back to school for my master's in clinical social work and basically this gives me an opportunity to become a therapist or to become honestly whatever like in that area I kind of want to go into the therapy area but 
I don't want to be so absolute with it because I never know where my passions could lead me. I never know where God could call me. I never know where, you know, I might be more interested in. So we're going to kind of play it by ear and by experience. So I will be working at a psychiatric hospital. That's where I will be interning for the year. I'll be over outpatient planning, like helping patients get back on their feet after they've been discharged. So I'm excited to experience that and kind of let you guys know how that is whenever I do update you guys next time on my graduate school life because I will be keeping you guys informed. I will be vlogging. So if you are planning on going to graduate school, follow me, subscribe because I'm going to be letting you guys know the real deal about what grad school is and how just how it is. It is a two year program and I will be interning for 16 hours a week and I will be going to classes for about 14 hours a week and then I got a graduate assistantship position and I'll be doing that for about 10 hours a week or so. So it's a pretty heavy schedule but I'm up for the cause. I'm up for you know building that endurance and working hard and just trying to make the most out of my grad school experience. So yeah I'm really really excited guys. Like I love I kind of like I love school but I love school. I love learning. I love books. I love to just get out there and just like use my my method of learning my method of experiencing things and just kind of learning I just love learning guys <laughs> I'm super excited for grad school like I said I will be keeping you guys up to date like low-key like we got into Baylor like we all of us we all got into Baylor so y'all are coming with me I will show you guys my new apartment if you guys want an apartment hall an apartment tour let me know like I said we got into Baylor so this is between all of us like it ain't just me I eat y'all eat <laughs> okay so um, I want to do a lot more on my channel so give me ideas guys um, drop them in the comment section and let me know what you're looking forward to and I will make that happen I'll make some shake so now for the good stuff now for the tea now for the juice I'm going to share a little bit about my long-distance relationships y'all ready y'all ready y'all ready okay let's do it so um, basically I am in a relationship I have been in a long distance relationship for a while now and it's coming to an end not ending as in we're breaking up but it's coming to an end in terms that my boyfriend does go to Baylor so that is a blessing um, we won't really have to do the whole long distance thing anymore because we'll be together and it's just amazing because I'm like <gasps> I can't do this. I mean, I can't obviously because I've done it for like eight, nine months, but um, it was hard. It was definitely one of those things where you have to build that patience, that commitment, that endurance, um, really, really build that love off of the time you guys do have to have together. And it was one of those things that was hard for me because one of my love languages is quality time. I mean, I'm weird. Like I'm an extrovert introvert so I have my moments where I'm like I need to be alone from the whole world and that's just kind of how I am at that point but for the most part I do like to be around my boyfriend I do like to be around my family um, so that's kind of how I am I'm very quality time oriented and I really really do value it so yeah that's coming to an end so what it has really taught me for the most part is just that man like commitment is a huge deal with long distance because he will literally drive an hour and a half and I will drive an hour and a half to meet up to have pizza and have a lunch date like that's commitment like that's commitment you know because we miss each other because we want to see each other because we want to just you know be together and it's just kind of one of those things where it just really builds that genuine love for another and, and to, in my opinion you know it really just builds up that genuine love it can be difficult there are cons to it of course there are pros to it of course but for the most part I do like the process that it took me through took me and him through because now I think that we're at a place where being together in the same city literally is going to be a whole different journey and I'm so excited for that I think that it just took a lot of commitment like it took a lot of commitment, a lot of staying up late to talk on the phone, a lot of just being available, you know, to each other's schedules. Like, hey, if you're free, we must talk because we literally cherish those conversations. We cherish those moments, like literally like five minutes, like, hey, how's your day going? What are you doing? You know, just trying to make the best out of the little. And I think that's that's a real long side of commitment, you know, like wanting to make time for someone that you're in a relationship with and wanting to get to know them despite the distance, wanting to fight for the relationship despite the distance and despite all the inconveniences that are involved and with missing each other, but you still choose to be with someone that's like three hours away 
he's from Dallas and I'm from Houston so we're from two different cities already you know so it was just kind of one of those things where like four or five hour drives are literally nothing to us like we will drive across country to see each other or across states to see each other so yeah I just think that it was a really good experience and I'm so elated that it's coming to an end like can we just stop for a moment and praise God can we just praise him together but but yeah I'm 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 excited so yeah that's pretty much all the updates in my life so far nothing too extreme that's been updated except grad school adulting and my long distance relationship like all of that's kind of taking a shift a huge shift so I thought that I just kind of let you guys in on a little bit of that and yeah, I'm super excited for what the future holds I love new seasons I love new seasons so I'm so excited for this new season and I'm so excited for what God is going to do in this new season and I'm so excited for being able to share with you guys about my life and what I'm going through and what I've gone through and just being really open and honest with you guys about life in general I think that's always important to be transparent to be real like I love to be real and yeah so I think that's pretty much all I have to say um, I would love to know what's going on in your life what new seasons are you going into update me on your life too you can't just be nosy on this video like I want to be nosy too so let me know what you guys are going through let me know what's being updated in your life are you excited about finding a new job are you excited about what God is doing in your life or whatever is happening what's coming up whatever it could be a new baby it could be a marriage it could be a, a new boyfriend a new car a new house a, your relationship with God is flourishing like it could be anything so just let me know in the comment section below and make sure you subscribe to this channel if you're not already subscribed share this video like comment and I will see you guys next time in my next video bye